Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So the formula for a pendulum is given by this. We've seen this in the past, where L is, uh, is the length of the string, uh, and then G here is gravity. G is gravity. And we've already seen that, um, that the time it takes to do one swing, which is capital T, is proportional to the uh, square root of the length of the string. Meaning, meaning, what, what this is, what this means is, if you, um, if you double the length of the string, then, uh, then, then you're going to times, well, the, the time will be multiplied by, by root two. If you triple the length of the string, then the time will be multiplied by root three. And we've seen this in the past. My, my question here is, what should I do to the length of the string in order to double the time it takes to do one swing? So what should I do to the length of the string? You see, if I double the length of the string, then, uh, then this is going to get multiplied by, by root, um, by root two. But I, I, I want to, I want to sum, what should I do to the length of the string in order to double the time it takes to do one swing? So press pause and have a go. Okay. To do this, as always, set up two systems. Set up two systems where, where, where this, so, so the time it takes to do one swing here is given by, is given by two pi root L over G. And then the time it takes to do one, one swing here, you want to create a, a length here such that it will give you 2t because you want it, you want to somehow find this length in such a way that it, it will take twice, twice as long. That's why it's 2t. So basically on, on this system here, uh, this system here, we want to find a value of x such that it will give us twice the, uh, the time. So this will be, so it's 2 pi over, uh, root Normally it's L over G, but the, the, the length here is, is actually X. And, and, uh, and it, it is the X that we're trying to search for. We're trying to isolate this X. We're trying to find the, the length of this string here. Okay. So, so now, um, now we are trying to find X here, the length of the string. So, so if, if currently T equals this thing here, we, we've got to put this block into this T here. So that will then give us, that will then give us two, times this t here which is this thing here uh, 2 pi root l over g and then on this side it stays the same uh, 2 pi root x over g remember we are trying to find x here we are trying to find this length here uh, in such a way that would give us twice the time so it's just a matter of us trying to figure out this x so now um, now, now multiply, sorry, now divide both sides by 2 pi. So in your mind, divide both sides by 2 pi. So that will then give you 2 root L over G, uh, and then over here, root, root X over G. Because what, what, what you've got here is, is a, a block of 2 times a block of 2 pi times a block of, uh, root L over G. So you can just divide by two pi. So so these two just cancel each other out. So that's what we've done here. Okay, so so remember we are trying to search we're we're trying to isolate X here. So um so uh so now now let me think. Now square both sides. So when you square this side it will be X over G. And when when you square this side, remember what you've got here is a block of two times a block of root L over G. And so, so when you square this side, it's really you getting this and then multiplying by its, by itself. So that would be, uh, that would be this. So square root times another square root. So that's like squaring a square root. So that would then be L over G. And then this times this, that would be, uh, four. So now this four gets multiplied to the top. So it would be, uh, four L over G. So, so we are currently here. We are trying to get x on its own. So in your mind, times both sides by g. So that would be x here, and then that would be 4l here. So, so if you want to get, if you want to work out x, what you do is you, you get your old length, and then multiply it by 4. So, so what it's saying here is that, um, it, what it's saying is that you get your old length, you get your old length, and then multiply it by 4. And then, uh, and then that will then give you twice the time. So the answer here is we should multiply the length by four in order to double the time it takes to do one swing. So let's let's put that to let's put it to the test. 
So we so to test it, let's say this length here is of length one. So one meter, say. So when it's one meter, the time it takes to do one swing will be um, will be two pi uh, root L over G. But the length of this string here is one one meter. So well, it could be you could choose anything. I I randomly chose one. Um, but, but a better a better one is you should say the length of the string is of length g. So so these two will cancel each other out, making it a lot simpler. But but okay, let's doesn't matter if you don't understand that bit. Uh, but let's let's just say the length of the string here is one meter. So the time it takes to do one swing here is uh, is given by this. This is one. And then uh, and then we remember we said that if if you want to double the time it takes to do one swing, you should get your length and then multiply by four. You should multiply by four, so this length here will be four. So the so when when it's of length four, the time it takes to do to do um, to do this, let's let's call it t t uh, t t two then. This here is t one. So so t two here. So uh, so this will be two pi root l l is the length of the string here, which happens to be four. So it will be four over over uh, over g. So now now um now this is actually four times this but let, let me show you why it's four times so uh so so that would be this break it into here so that'd be root four and then root g uh and then what's the square root of four it is two so uh so uh, so, so that would be two uh, so that would be two uh pi and then you've got two over root uh g here and then now you've got this block times this block times this block. I'm just going to move this out here. So that will then become uh, that will then become two, which is this one here, and then uh, and then this bit here, which is um, two pi, a block of two pi. But then when, when I move it out here, it's got a, what's left is one over uh, g here, root g. So um, so uh, you you've got to have this one here because. This gets multiplied to the top. This gets multiplied to the top. You've got to have this one here, um, and then and then and then I can imagine that one as being, um, hang on. So I can imagine that one as being square root of one over uh, because square root of one is one over over square root of g. So now uh, now now this will then become two pi and then and then uh, and then root one over g. So you can see that um, it is twice the old period. So uh, so so we've tested it. So so when you times this by four, it does give you twice this thing here, times two. Look at this. This is exactly the same as exactly the same as this, and here it's twice. Okay.